Hi everyone. My name is John Palzer and I'm the coordinator of creative writing at Finger Lakes Community College. Are you someone who likes to write stories, writes poems or writes essays or things you don't even know what they're called? Maybe you write them in your journals, type them up. Perhaps one day you imagine yourself writing a great novel. You want to be the next Stephen King or write the next Game of Thrones. Maybe you're interested in how you can use language to express the world and the way you see the world in new and fresh and imaginative ways. You might be interested in how your own voice can have an impact on other people, other readers, and an audience. Well, we can help you do that here at the Finger Lakes Community College Creative Writing Program. We do a number of things for you. We help you to inspire your imagination. We help you to generate material for your stories and poems. We help you to learn how to speak to one another about what makes art. We help you to revise and polish your work, to understand how to make it best fit into an audience's experience. So what will you do here if you decide one day to come to school at Finger Lakes Community College and study creative writing? Well, you'll have an opportunity to take a number of classes that we call workshop seminars. It's a chance for you to sit in a circle at a table together with your classmates and your professors to study three primary genres at this point. You can take classes in fiction writing, poetry writing, creative nonfiction writing, and in time we hope to offer specialized courses in the genres. Maybe we'll offer courses in writing fantasy or writing the Western or the mystery novel. In this circle, we will sit down and share our work with one another, and we will offer constructive criticism and critiques on how an audience is receiving the material, how you can best make it exciting or moving, emotionally impactful. You will then have the opportunity to revise this material, and in time, Sit down with your instructors and get some one-on-one -on -one advice in addition to the time in the classroom and how to polish your writing so that it is the best piece of material you can offer to an audience. You'll be taking literature courses. It's impossible to become an effective writer if you're not a good reader. A reader that gets a background in a number of different genres, whether it's the short story, whether it's poetry, whether it's the novel, whether it's very specific time period courses, Maybe it's contemporary poetry of the early part of the 20th century. Maybe it's the short story of the past 10 years. Maybe it's simply introduction to literature. It'll be a number of these things actually, and it'll give you a chance to study how other writers create their material and become the writers they are. You will learn from what others do. You will study how someone can turn a phrase or build a plot or develop a character. You must study literature if you want to become a good writer, and you'll do a lot of reading, and it's fun. You can take courses in our honor seminar, very specialized courses, courses on such figures as Harry Potter, uh, such courses as fantasy writing, such courses as what it means to study how a pandemic affects how we think and feel in the contemporary age, and that's a topic that we're all very familiar with these days. It's a similar structure to the workshop. You'll meet in a class with your classmates and embark on a deep discussion on what it is that these various topics might mean and how authors have brought them to us. You also have a chance to work on a literary magazine. We have the Finger Literary Journal. It's an international journal where we accept writing from writers from all over the country and all over the world and from our students as well. You'll get guidance on how to publish if that's something you'd like to do one day. It's not always an easy task, but we'll show you how you can package your material and send it off to editors to be considered for publication in their journals or their publishing uh, shops. We have internship opportunities as well. A chance to work at such places as BOA Editions 
and writers and books, both in the city of Rochester. These internships require application, and not everyone's accepted. But if you are, you have a chance to work with in a professional setting with editors and publishers who gather the material of writers who are ready to put their books on the market. You'll see how that office operates. Or you'll have a chance to work in the marketing and publishing areas, assisting the marketers and publishers with putting together their materials to promote their readings or their upcoming events. If you join this program, you'll have a chance to sit down with a lot of like-minded people, just like yourself, who enjoy your imagination, who want to create new worlds and experiences for an audience using your language and your sense of how words operate on the page to make beautiful sense, to create exciting environments. These like-minded people will all be part of a community that you can get to know over time move through the program together with, and make deep friendships with, help each other become successful writers. It's comforting to know that there are others like you out there. Sometimes they're hard to find, but in this program, everyone will sit down together with the same goals and the same desires and the same sense of inspiration. It's good to get to know these people. They'll become your lifelong friends. What else can you do with a degree in creative writing, you might ask. And I'm sure moms and dads are probably wondering this too, right? Well, to break into the writing world, it's no easy task. Not everyone's going to be Margaret Atwood. Not everyone's going to be Stephen King. Not everyone's going to be Ann Patchett. But there are other things that a degree like this can prepare you for. It's a two-year degree, right? It's a transfer degree. And so it'll set you up for an experience as perhaps an English major, perhaps a teacher. So you can transfer to four-year colleges. It may even prepare you to work in other modern languages. The study of language and the careful sense of writing is useful in all languages. Maybe you'll move on to a degree in French, a degree in Spanish, degrees that we offer here as well. Maybe you'll become a teacher. Educators need to know how to command language very successfully and effectively. They, know, they need to know how to uh, put together their lesson plans. They need to know how to move their students, how to engage them, their intellect and their imagination. Maybe you'll go into marketing or advertising. A lot of people graduate with their Masters of Fine Arts and Creative Writing and go into the world of advertising, trying to find ways to convince people that you have the product for them, or that you are trying to market uh, a charitable office. All kinds of ways that language can be used to get people to see things that you believe are important and to understand how they can be managed in their own life. Maybe you'll go into business. Many of our students are reluctant to think about writing as being practical outside of, say, an English major or a teacher. But right here in Canandaigua, many of our local businesses tell us quite regularly that what they want to see in their employees are strong writing skills, skills that can move and have an impact upon an audience, that can convince their own employees to become better, more motivated uh, workers. And maybe you'll go into law. Law is a degree and a profession that bases itself on the use of language, often very difficult language. By studying creative writing, you will look at all the nuances of how language operates. You will look at how somebody can actually manipulate the way you understand the world using language, can develop arguments that in some way will convince people of what is right or wrong in our lives. And so I encourage you to think about a degree in creative writing at Finger Lakes Community College. It's a lot of fun. And uh, don't spend one moment thinking that your imagination is not worthwhile. It's everything, no matter what you choose to do. So an AA degree in creative writing can lead you toward whatever you'd like to do. Because whatever we do requires careful, effective speech, 
and strong moving writing skills. So thanks for listening. And maybe we'll see you in the future. I sure hope so. Again, my name is John Palzer, coordinator of creative writing. Thanks for listening to me, everybody.